Michigan Out of Doors Magazine's OD is brought to you by Country Smokehouse of Almond, offering the best quality and satisfaction in homemade meats, sausage, and jerky. It's a Michigan destination. Check out the website at countrysmokehouseinc.com. And by Williams Gun Sight. Located in Davison, Williams Gun Sight has mid-Michigan's largest selection of used guns with over 2,000 in stock every day. Check out the website to view inventory and prices. Got blue tick hounds, and we're going to take a couple of them out and see if uh, the coon are moving. And hopefully, we got a couple girls here that uh, hunted with me last year and did not shoot a coon, and they want to shoot a coon. So we're going to take them coon hunting, and let them shoot a coon out tonight. So that's that's the goal. Well, we'll turn the dogs loose uh, in a woodlot or cornfield, and uh, they'll go out and what we call strike a track. When they smell one, they'll open up and bark, uh, trail it. They'll have a different bark, we call a changeover, or a tree bark. You can tell the difference by the change of the dog's voice. And then they have to stay treed until the hunter can get there. And if it's a nice coon, we'll harvest the coon. We don't harvest everything we tree. We, the sport is about the dogs. But uh, we do shoot a few coon. You need to because the farmers want them dead. They do a lot of damage. Furs are worth very little this year, but we do sell the fur too when we get ones. There's only two dogs in the world that's got all five of the UKC titles on him. He's Grand Knight, Grand Show, Grand Water, Grand Field, and HTX-3. There's three levels of HTX, and he has all three of them. So there's how many dogs so in the world? There's like two. Only two. And both of them are blue ticks. Right now, there's probably more coming, but right now, both of them are blue ticks, and he's one of them. Okay, when they smell a coon, you'll hear them bark, and that way you'll know that they found a track. And then we're going to wait and uh, until that bark changes into a tree bark when they get the coon treed. And then uh, the dog will stay treed until we get there. And that's the thing with a coon dog versus like a foxhound or something that don't treat. There's a bark there. They just found a coon. And now what we're going to wait for is uh, hopefully that coon will treat. <laughs> there's a, I think there's two in that one. There's one in the top and then one towards the middle. See that? Look at there. Oh, cool. Now that we got done chasing a little coon, Jenny, uh, we'll get a big one for you. <laughs> I'm mad, buddy, huh? She wants to go, but she doesn't need it. She'll be hurting tomorrow. Tell me when you want us to turn loose. Go ahead. Yep. About a minute after we cut them in, they struck a track, ran it, I'd say, maybe 50 or 100 yards, and they're just treating their heads off now. <laughs> Hopefully was, there'll be a coon there. That was quick, huh? Yeah, it was quick. <laughs> uh, they did too good of a job. Maybe it's a skunk or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this one did it first. <laughs> you can see this corn, how it's all down right here. The first, oh, eight, ten rows here. There wasn't even any corn standing, and this is what a raccoon does in a cornfield. They do a lot of damage, and that's why the farmers want us to come in here and uh, 
shoot the coon. In fact, some of the farmers won't let us hunt if we don't shoot the coon because they can really raise cane with the crops and as well as mess up feed in the barn and they just, they're a nuisance. Jennifer's coon. They definitely had much bigger coon. We're not ashamed. This is still a nice coon. <laughs> you notice how we had two coon in that one tree and we only shot one? That's usually what we do. We just shoot one and leave the rest for seeds. So we've got coon to run the next time. The dogs don't need two. They, one's down, they think it's good. So that's usually what we do is just shoot one and save some for seed. So these guys got the, the biggest coons tonight, huh? Yes, we did. I think Jennifer won. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you got to go to the weigh-in and see who won? Exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, we're just competitive buck. enough yeah. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a buck pole at MUCC, right. we need a <laughs> <laughs> raccoon pole. <laughs>